My name is Dr. Spencer Stetzel, and I've specialized in both cervical and uh, lumbar artificial disc replacements. I've had quite extensive experience in both primary and revision uh, implants of the cervical spine as well as the lumbar spine. Lumbar disc replacement is used to replace a, a degenerated uh, lumbar disc, either one uh, worn out with time or one post-traumatically. Uh, we go in there and remove the uh, injured or degenerated disc and replace it typically with a metal and, and plastic implant uh, that recreates the overall normal alignment and function of the spine. Uh, it'll let you retain your typical uh, flexibility and motion in your spine uh, without the standard fusion or the previous uh, fusion procedures. The cervical disc replacement works very similar to the lumbar disc replacements but is a bit newer than them. It again is used in, in replacing a damaged or degenerated disc and it too uh, uses a metal implant that's a ball and cup design or ball and socket design uh, to replace the injured disc. It, it also uh, allows you to retain the uh, normal motion of the spine and hopefully prevents further degeneration at ad adjacent discs. There are two types of implants used in uh, spinal disc arthroplasty. One is a metal-on-metal -metal disc replacement, which uses just a metal uh, cup and a, a metal ball and socket type joint to replace the disc. There are also a hybrid disc, which is a, a metal and plastic disc or metal and polyethylene disc, uh, similar to the, the implants used in hip and knee replacements that have been going on roughly 40 years now. Uh, both have had excellent clinical results uh, and are time proven.